How's it going? Cocky here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. On the road to Damascus, got another SMG. We're going to hop right into this one. We're not going to waste any time. The PP-19 Bison running the 8.7 inch polygonal, the Corvus Skeleton Stock, the Sleight of Hand, Stippled Grip Tape, 84 round helical mags. Because that's what I like. I don't really know. There's no real rhyme or reason to my... There's no method to my madness. I'm going to be honest with you. Now, you might think that I'm going to play Shipment 24-7 and then do a game of quick play. But actually, screw that. I want to play something else. Because quite honestly, I've been playing that since the refresh. Playing so much Shipment. So we are going to hop into Deathmatch Domination for a game. And then probably quick play. And we got Ramaza. Which, I don't know. I don't really have an opinion on this map. To be honest, it's just kind of there. It's not Grozna Raid, I guess. We are having a slow start to the game. Probably gonna have a slow middle and end to the game as well. I should have I should have just done a shipment. Nah. I gotta diversify the content. Where you at? I'm just bad. There's just really no excuse for how bad I am. But hey, that means you too can get whatever golden gun you want. Except for maybe the melees, because they're actually kind of hard. Maybe the snipers, I haven't gotten any of those yet. There we go. No real reason to reload there. I'm gonna try and play the OBJ. Which is probably gonna get me killed. Okay, my teammates here though. My teammates here. We're good. I'm gonna get the fudge out of there. Ooh, that glare though. Look at that glare. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. I thought they said they fixed that in 1.13. Oh, I, I don't know. I just always look the wrong way. I, I mean, <laughs> I guess that is indicative of how good I am, which is not very. You know, the difference between, you know, a normie and a, uh, a good player. I guess it's more to look. There was two of them. I, I don't know what that was like the weirdest game of cat and mouse. I do quite like the PP Bison, the PP 19 Bison. Um, at first, I really didn't. But uh, after, actually, not even after I got a couple of patterns, it just kind of like took a couple games of using it. And it kind of grew on me. It, it's. Uh, Kind of reminds me of the MP7, I guess, just because it's got the huge magazine. Um, this one's almost like laser-like, though. It's not got a lot of recoil, but there's something about it at long range. This was the most trouble I had getting a uh, 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 long shot, getting the sharp edges. I don't know why, but like when you have that scope on it and everything, it was just a pain in the ass to get oh they're taking c i think i pushed too far ahead and they're taking c oh that was a good one that was a good c4 you you knew right where i was at dude bro um but yeah it, it's got this really here let me it's got like a very very easy to control recoil and it's got so much ammo in it especially i run the extended mags like, that's pretty easy. But long shot range, for some reason, I really struggled with it. Especially shoot house. I mean, at shoot house, long shot range. Where's this freaking guy at? There he is. I guess I should try and take A. I guess A is going to be ours. Yeah, they're, we're spawning at A now. We swapped spawns. Um, 
yeah, this one's just a fun one. I don't know. This one wasn't too bad, except for I did have quite a bit of trouble with the long shots, but that was just it. Or that was just me, I think. I don't know. It was kind of just a pain. Uh, it wasn't, like, brutal. I mean, nothing... What I've learned is it's really just time more so than anything. It's time way more than skill. It's like time, then luck, then skill on getting golden guns. That's what I've learned. Uh, that's the hierarchy of requirements. Is No, the electronic store is back by C, isn't it? I don't really know the callouts for any of the maps. Like I say, I usually just play. Isn't this the electronic store? Yeah. Hmm. Here we go. Oop, I didn't really need to reload. There we go. Uh, I just ran. I don't know. I'm doing. Now, my team has four dudes with the IKEA clan tag, so that's pretty good. I think that means we should probably win this game because. We're squadding up. Oh, I need to do this for a challenge. For a mission I'm on right now, for bail. I gotta do like that one more time. Let's just camp out here. Or I guess let's move. Thank you. I don't know why I reload still. I mean, I literally have 84 rounds in the mag. And I just reload. It's like, it's a, such a bad habit. It really is. If you do that, like me, you, you know, it's just like it gets you killed so often. I can get 70 rounds still. Um, I was just grinding out the origin. The origin of the world. And that got me in trouble so much. The reloading after every kill thing. Because I'm playing on shipment, right? And, and especially because you kind of get into that habit of doing it when you're grinding uh, for kills after reloads. Because that's just a pain in the ass. Um... Like, if they don't just come naturally and they're, like, the last thing you got to do or one of the last things you got to do. Uh, it, yeah, they uh, they can be a real... Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, those just are, like... You get back into that habit with the kills after reload of reloading after, like, every kill so you can hopefully get more kills. Uh, you know, so, so that it just it's the way to do it. So you kind of break yourself of the habit of uh, reloading after every kill, and then you do that challenge on every gun, and then you do it. On the origin, though, using the 25-round drum, I'd, like, get, you know, get a, to get two kills, and I'm trying to get, like, three kill streaks with it. And uh, I'd get two, and then reload with, like, 15 rounds in the magazine. Or, like, when you have the 25-round magazine, it goes red at, uh... I don't know why I tried to throw a grenade. I, I forget I have a frag grenade, not like a Simtex or a Molotov or a Thermite or anything. Um, but it goes red, like the low ammo warning, when it's at eight rounds on the 25-round drum. Well, the eight rounds is the stock magazine, and I would get there and I'd be like, oh, shit, I got to reload. But I don't really need to. I have as much ammo as I would if I had the standard mag. That one. Which is just weird just my fault like that's just bad habits right like that's just bad situational awareness that's like one of those things i need to work on when you record gameplay footage and go back and watch it you really learn the things you do that are bad and the things you do that are you well the ones that are detrimental to your success you know the ones that are, this whole team is their entire thing Oh, I unmuted it. Uh, I don't remember how to look at gaming, gamer cards or whatever, but is their entire thing the Swedish flag and they all have Ikea things? Which is an experience that's new to me. I've never been to an Ikea. The closest Ikea to me, or I had never been, because I went like two weeks ago. Um, because the closest one to me is like an hour and a half drive away. But I went, I picked up some drawers for the setup. Uh, oh, shit. Where's this guy at? Come on, where you at? Um, picked up some drawers for the setup. Absolutely. That was a cool store, a cool experience to get to experience. I guess. That was poor word choice. And we are about to win this game. Uh, and then I think we're going to jump into quick play on one uh, just to do something different. 
especially because I'm not doing shotguns, and I've been grinding shotguns. I got uh, most of them. I'm actually done. Uh, I've actually had the PP pee -pee Bison done forever. I got it done the same time I did... Uh, uh, what, the same time I did uh, the M680. That was, uh, yeah, so that was, like, I don't know. That was a while back. And then I just haven't recorded any videos because I couldn't. I either had other stuff going up on the channel and I was like, I don't really need it. Uh, Victor, I absolutely dominated him. Uh, did, either didn't need that or just uh, couldn't get into the game, like I said, about downloading the update. And, and yeah, just it was a pain. All right, so now we're going to hop into core, just regular old quick play. I haven't turned, I don't think I've left every single game mode on, so we'll see what I get. Probably freaking not a Nia Palace. That one's uh, Ground War. What's the. Uh, Oh, Euphrates Bridge. That's the one. Oh, my goodness. So it is Azir Cave. It is domination on Azir Cave. So I might as well have not even changed playlists. Although I guess this is regular Dom. How's it going, everybody? You all look like me. You do anyway. You have the same skin as I as, as I do. There we go. Oh, man. I, I, I love the golden. It's like every time I do a video on one, I like it more and more. It's so... Pretty. I mean, it's really grown on me, especially like this one. In my view, is is there's almost no you know it's all gold with that uh, topo or topo. I never still don't remember how to pronounce it, um, but with that topo graphic on it or design, um, it really looks good. Oop! I saw a guy. I saw you too. You have a crossbow though, so I'm probably gonna I'm gonna elephant feet up on this guy. I knew he was there. Where was he? Oh, he dropped down behind me. That bastard, though. Oh, since there's a personal radar, I got a little bit of flexing to do real quick. That's right. You see it. Oh, I don't think I was... That wasn't locked on, was it? Nope, it wasn't. I'm stupid. I haven't used this one in so long. There we go. Uh... I've been using the Javelin for so long, or the Joker. Uh, yeah, look at that. I got uh, Platinum Rocket Launchers. Straight up. Just my first Platinum was Rockets. So I, I feel it was a pretty good one to get out of the way early because it means that I don't have to worry about shooting down vehicles. I can just worry about killing enemies and stuff, which is fun. So, I mean, that is the kind of fun part of the game. That was some Battlefield 1... Oh, I don't have stem. I keep forgetting I don't have stem. Um, I don't know why. I need to put stem on here. Uh, but that was like some Battlefield 1 hip fire right there. That was some top-level hip fire. Do people still play... Oh, you're my teammate. Uh, is Battlefield 5 a thing? Because I feel like it's not a thing. Like, I see, I guess, like... I guess like Jack Frag put Jack Frags puts up like a video, but like he he's literally like a battlefield guy. Like I don't know. I just never see battlefield content. Cause like the game, I don't know, it looks bad. It looks like it's unfinished, you know, it looks like it looks like they took everything that didn't go right with Battlefield 1 and like amped it up. Oh man, I couldn't get that double. If I were playing on PC, maybe. I don't want to go out that way. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Battlefield. Rest in peace, maybe? I don't know. I haven't played it. Oh, come on. There you go. See, like, I didn't need to reload there. I had 56 shots. You know, I had 26 more shots than, like, the MP5 does starting. Damn it. He's just chilling there. I feel like my problem is I just run too much. I sprint too much, and I'm too loud, and I'm like, thump, 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 thump. You know, everybody can friggin' hear me from a mile away. Bro, what? You totally just heard me. Oh my god, yeah, he did. He just, like, he saw, heard the grenade, he looked for it, and then he just, like, heard my elephant feet, I guess. 
I don't know why I pressed left bumper. There, we're under total domination right now. Things aren't going well. I put stim on my class. Let's see if it helps us. I need to change this. I need to be dead silence. Bro. Okay, now we have dead silence activated and stim. I don't know why that, well, well I had dead silence off because I had to use deployable cover for that bail challenge. My gun is super loud in this cave. Bro, where are you at? I don't even see him. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come on, man. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I I like this gun. I like using it. It's really fun on shoot house. It's like a really good shoot house gun. It is a good run and gun gun. But I don't know. When everything's the friggin' uh the the M4, you're just like getting killed by M4s over and over again. And I was playing with the origin, getting it well yeah, see like he he headshot me with a crossbow. But I'm pretty sure I'm also in a higher skill. Uh, yeah, I saw those after I ran over them. There was like two of them there. What the hell? There's one on the top left up there too. Yeah, I feel like I'm in a too high a skill bracket for me. I'm not that great. Uh, and... Uh, I kind of popped off with the origin on shipment. I kept getting, I got like a hundred kill game. I got my first ever hundred kill game. I'll put the screenshot in on that one. Damn it. I'll put, yeah, I'll put the screenshot in on that one. I took a screenshot of it. I got like a hundred kill game for the first time. So that was really cool. Uh, but it kind of absolutely, like just popping off with that ruined my uh, SBMM. Uh, so now I need up. Like, to compete with these guys, I gotta play Sweaty. Which I don't really do ever, because it's just not fun, and I'm just playing to have fun. I That is what video games are for, is for having fun. You know what I mean? Like, that's a crazy concept, but, like, we should, you know, play them for fun. Because they are that. At least originally. If I recall correctly, that's what they're for. Speaking of fun, I got a, I got a friggin' PS Vita, and, like, it came with, uh, I got it on eBay, and I, got, I think I got a good deal on it, I'm not sure, um, but it came with uh, a couple games, one of those games was, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified, and I hopped in, I, j I did not expect this to work, but I jumped into the multiplayer. I didn't even realize that the servers would still up, or would still be up in 2020. All right, it's probably peer to peer like yeah, it's probably like peer to peer host. I don't know how that works. I'm not a networking expert. Uh feel free to correct me on how or to explain to me on however how all this, you know, matchmaking stuff works. But PS Vita Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified 2020 on like a Thursday at 1.30 in the afternoon, I hopped into a game, or I hopped into matchmaking in TDM, and I got into two games. I played two games, like, with different people. Not not only was there enough to play one game, but there was enough to play two games, and nobody in those two games was the same. And it was, it was a, it was a life-changing experience. That was actually really cool. You, like, I've never played a mobile COD before, and I know like most of the ones on the DS are pretty not great. But and I I think people think pretty lowly of Black Ops Declassified, but it was kind of cool to play multiplayer. Oh my goodness! Okay, that that took too much. That took too much ammo. Um, there we go, popping off now. Oh, you're my teammate. I'm sorry. Yeah, like, it was fun. It was fun playing, like, Black Ops mobily with the old MP5K and the... It doesn't have the commando. It has. It's called the Carbine? And I didn't even have it because I didn't unlock uh, create a class. I'm only, like, I leveled up once. 
So I had like the uh, the AK-47 with the noob tube on it. I was just noob tubing because uh, aiming is a little sus on there. It was a little weird and it was pretty laggy. I'm pretty sure I was playing with like Europeans. I would imagine it was the weirdest thing though. It was the craziest thing. Just like super cool experience just playing with a couple of people or like it was like none of the matches were full full. They were like, uh, I think there are eight player matches and I think they were all like six people. Uh, they were around. Oh, he was on the truck back there. That was just I don't know what I was walking into. Um, but yeah, there was like six people in each match. It was really, really cool, actually. So if you got a Vita, bust out your Vita and try and get into a game of uh, Black Ops Declassified. Or just get a Vita if you don't have one. Uh, I got one because, you know, I'm, I've heard about a lot about it, you know, kind of like the failure it was. Uh, but I've also heard a lot of people say that it was actually really good. Uh, well, not really good, but it was it had some really cool stuff going for it. It's pretty well featured. I mean, you know, it kind of sucks that like they ended support for it and stuff, but it was, you know, it, it's, it's got some games. Uh, there's homebrew, you know, if you're willing to like jailbreak your system, there's some good, uh, there's some like really cool homebrews and some really cool things you can do and you can make it be like an emulator. I was reading, uh, if you're part of the PC Master Race, I was reading on uh, on, on Reddit where this guy hack, uh, jailbroke his, hacked it, jailbroke it, whatever your nomenclature, your preferred nomenclature is. Uh, and he has like an NVIDIA graphics card, and so it lets him play, like remote play things. So he can like use, he can like stream games to his PS Vita. I just got absolutely sniped by an AX50. Uh, but yeah, like he can use it to stream games to his PS Vita. He's like, it doesn't work great, but like for like older stuff, like Fallout 3 and stuff, it, it, it works really well, actually, or not really well, but it works. So you can play like, you can like play Fallout 3 and then stream it to your Vita and go, you know, go to the bathroom, which is actually a cool feature of the Vita anyway. If you have a PS4, you can use it on there. Uh, you can use it to like stream the games to the Vita from your PS4, which is actually really, really cool. And I just spent the entire game talking about the PS Vita because that was a regular match of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which means that it was quite boring. It was a dom, dom match, and the highest kills in the game was 20. Uh, so that's kind of indicative of Modern Warfare's place right now in core, like regular matchmaking, quick play. It, it's not super strong. I think they really got to work on these maps. Get that stuff figured out. Uh, get some more maps in the rotation. Some more small maps like Vacant. And even Crash I kind of like. Like I think that it's not perfect. But like more stuff like Shoot House. More stuff like Vacant. More stuff like... Uh, I, I really like Gunrunner. But I don't know. That's just me. So after I spent all that time. I wasted all that talking about the PS Vita and Ikea and all that stuff. My quick review of the gun. It's fun. It's pretty good. It's basically a laser but for some reason i really struggled with it uh at long shot range uh like couldn't get recoil down that's probably on me i don't know uh huge magazine it's kind of like a beefed up version of the mp7 uh i don't know use it if you want it looks really pretty with the gold camo on it i bet it'll look even prettier when i get uh platinum which uh well gold kind of looks cooler than platinum but i bet it'll look really good in damascus if i eventually get that that is the goal hopefully we can get there one day so thank you for watching if you really liked it leave a like if you liked it subscribe i said that backwards if you like it re no if you like it leave a like if you really liked it maybe subscribe you have a great day take care